This is Duke University. My favorite role to ever do is to have nothing to say, but to only calibrate energy and response. My favorite thing to do is perform it. So I'm Tommy DeFrance and I'm a professor in the departments of African and African American Studies and Dance. In my first semester at Duke I taught a new course called Performance and Technology and in this class we were concerned with building interfaces for performance. So working with specialized softwares that allow for the intake of information to influence the output of maybe sound or lighting or video. Uh, we worked with a software called Isadora which is widely used in performance applications now. It was developed by a choreographer and a programmer out of CalArts many years ago and it's a very important software for contemporary performance that's used all the time. We worked with Arduino controllers which are little tiny microprocessors that you can buy and they're very inexpensive. It's the same kind of technology that you'd find in your home computer or your PC or even your iPhone or your smartphone. Uh, but it's just the breadboard and a few circuits that allow you to do things like control lights or control little tiny robots. And you can use these in performances for specialized applications. Um, we tried to work a little bit in Max MSP and learn about that. It's a different software that's a specialized software uh, that's really good for audio applications for data sort of manipulations. Data comes in through Max MSP, and you produce some sort of effect outside of Max MSP. What's interesting about the class was it was open for people of all levels of skill in terms of performance or programming. So you didn't have to have any previous experience as a programmer or any previous experience. As a performer. And what I like to think is that what you do need to have experience at is asking questions and being willing to sort of engage really maybe impossible questions about what kind of performance you want to put on or make and how you want it to feel to an audience or to yourself as a designer, as a per participant. So what was great about the students in the first iteration of the course, our first semester, is that they were really available and interested. We had a mix of programmers. There was an engineering student who really had no experience or background in performance. And then several dance majors or dance minors who had some interest or maybe some experience uh, taking their um, either their computer science programming, their computational design courses, alongside their dance courses. So it was really a mix. And what's great about uh, a project class like this, because it is project-based, it's a composition class, we're making things every week, but it's about the projects that you make, is that then you work in teams and you can build on, there's a lot of peer learning, so you can build on the expertise of one person to another. And You might have an expertise in, say, video design or real interest in filmmaking or something like this, and then someone else might have an expertise or experience in very simple programming. So between the two of you, you can share sort of your responsibilities as you're designing a project together. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.